بسم الله Okay, let's start this again I just recorded about a couple of minutes of the, the episode And then my camera cut out this is fucking, That's two cameras now <laughs> Anyway, I need to still fix the other one That's the best the best camera as well <laughs> Anyway, but uh, yeah, we're just going to get straight back into it Anyway, salam alaikum Welcome to another episode of the Trap Shake Podcast I was literally just saying how I need to look up the word podcast Because I don't know what constitutes a podcast And what makes something not a podcast But um, but we're just going to keep a po- call it a podcast for now Until someone tells us different <laughs> But yeah um, As per usual This podcast is sponsored by Human Appeal Human Appeal have been the main sponsor behind all of this work So that if you've benefited from any of these videos I want you to make sure that you donate I want to make sure that you make a du'a for the people that are working at Human Appeal as they are the reason why this is being put together, um, apart from myself. Um, but yeah, so again, a big thanks to them and we look forward to the things that we're going to be doing in the future with them. Um, but yeah, getting straight into the episode today. Also, if you want to help the people of Palestine and donate, make sure you click the link in my bio or you can go over to my Instagram and donate over there. Um, I think we've raised 2,600, no, 2,800, no, 26,800, um, and again, every week we're, we're going up in the hundreds, sometimes we raise a thousand, sometimes, so I'm, I'm excited to see as this podcast grows, we'll constantly, week in, week out, be like raising more money, and for the years to come, inshallah, um, anyway, straight into today's episode, today's episode, um, it's a weird one, I don't want to make it too long, but uh, again, we'll try and keep it nice and concise and short. Um, I always say that, and then I'll run off for like 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, is my. I just wanted to talk about my relationship with the mosque. Now, my relationship with the mosque was never a good one. Um, I, always, I used to always think... People were very judgmental at the mosque. I used to think... I, I, I just never felt comfortable at the mosque. And I used to always think that was something wrong with me. Um, I used to like think to myself, this is meant to be like a house of Allah, and yet I don't feel welcomed. Not necessarily sometimes by the people, just sometimes by I feel like this place isn't for me. Um, and I've had that for a, a few years, to be honest pretty much the whole time I've been Muslim <laughs> but um but yeah that was um and obviously sometimes there are like people that influence it and Muslims that you bump into into the mosque and the uncles and stuff and that can maybe rub you the wrong way in your relationship with the mosque but I think so uh, uh, the reason why I'm having this thought and why I've been thinking about the mosque recently is because Recently, I've been going to the mosque. I don't, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've been going to the mosque a lot more to pray some of my prayers there. Um, and I'm loving it, to be honest. Uh, which is, funnily enough, I re- remember even my brother made a joke the other day about, like, um, I think I sent sent into the group chat, like, oh, I'm, I'm, like, falling in love with the mosque again. And then, like, Obviously, he knew he knows all the things I say about people at the mosque and stuff and blah blah blah. And he's like, "Wow, if, we, if Umar can do it, then anyone really can," which is true. And and more so now, like, because now obviously I'm covered in tattoos. Um, sometimes I go with my t-shirt, and uh, but again, I, I, the mosques I'm going to, I don't feel like I'm getting judged or anything. But even if I was, this is the main thing I want to kind of drill home to people because my i always thought oh like the mosque just wasn't for me like i always thought the mosque was wasn't made for someone like me it's made for the kids then like that, that, that were brought up in madrasa and the old uncles that um yell at you when you speak a bit too loud that's what who i thought the mosque was for and recently as i've been going to the mosque more frequently day in day out i try I'm starting to realise it was never about the people at the mosque. Muslims should not affect your relationship with Islam. And Muslims should not also affect your relationship with Allah. And I think that's what's been kind of revealed to me these past few days. 
um, or weeks or whatever, um, as I'm going to the mosque more, like I feel like it's not about me and the people that are there. It's about I'm going into the house of Allah because I'm about to offer a prayer to Allah. And I feel like going in with that mindset is just is helping me so much more have a better relationship with Islam and Allah in terms of the mosque. So I've always had a good relationship with Allah. Uh, okay, not always, but <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that on another episode. But yeah, but like I've, I'm getting a much better relationship with the mosque due to yeah just due to my perception of it and yeah maybe even maybe even sometimes maybe the mosques i'm going to you could argue some of them are a lot better the other day um one of the brothers <laughs> i think he probably thought i was a revert but um he came to me and he just and he just gave me a quran um it was a really nice quran to be honest it was the one of the black ones over there um but yeah he just gave me a quran and then he was just like oh like talking to me about it um but yeah like i thought that was really nice and welcome in. So again, maybe if you are in the mosque, maybe uh, always go that little extra step further to help the people. But again, like I said, it's not about the people. It's about your relationship with Allah. And that kind of translated over into, you know, what, I'll save that for another episode. Because then it, ca- it carried on into this thing when I was talking about when, when people get happy when celebrities convert to Islam which kind of ties into what I'm talking about now, but I'll save that for another episode so I can actually keep these episodes a bit shorter. Um, But yeah, just my main thing I just wanted to get through because I think the mosque isn't something um, young, the younger Muslims and Muslims maybe my age is something we've kind of disconnected with. That's one thing I don't see a lot of when I go to the mosques. I see a few people my age. I I don't see anyone usually younger like I don't really see teenagers there um the youth that's one thing I'll, I'd say I, d- I don't see the youth at the mosque maybe at Jummah but on your casual day in day out that's one thing I've noticed I've not been seeing it's obviously the uncles and when the uncles drag the the kids <laughs> that's all that's really the only people that are there and I felt that's such a that means we're missing out on such a big blessing that Allah has given us the connection with the mosque and I remember there was um I'm not sure if it's a hadith or a or a Quran or from the Quran or from I don't know, but it talks about the, the seven people that are granted the shade um on the day of judgment. And one of the one of the ones was uh, a person that's hearts attached to the mosque. And I used to always think, well, that ain't going to be me because I don't, I, I, before I used to hate the mosque, really. Like, if I'm being honest, I used to hate going to the mosque. Like, it used to be, <laughs> like, I remember my brother used to say, <laughs> you'd think Umar is, like, is not Muslim the way he hates the mosque. I didn't hate the mosque in and, in and of itself. Like, I hated more so the people there. But, um, but, yeah, going back to that thing, I remember even someone said to me once as well, they said, um, they said, thank God I found Islam before I found Muslims. And I'm like, subhanAllah, like, look how look how our interactions with people is making people have a negative effect on Islam or a negative effect on the mosque, in my case. Again, like I said, I, I didn't like going to the mosque. I didn't um again I didn't I didn't I didn't feel like I belonged. Maybe because I I knew my reality or whatever, and I knew the sins I was doing, and blah blah blah. Maybe it made me feel a bit um, like, oh, I'm not welcome. Like, do you know what I mean? But you have to remember the the mosque is is a place for sinners. The mosque is a place for sinners. I'd argue more so for the sinners than the pious people. The mosque is for the sinners. The mosque is for the trappers. The mosque is for the people that commit zina. The mosque is for the people. That I've got only fans. <laughs> the mosque is for the. I like. I just want people to know that no matter what it is you're doing, the mosque is for you. The mosque is 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 doors should always be open for you, because that is the representation of your relationship with Allah. Um, and again, maybe if you if you if you haven't built up the the courage or whatever to go to the mosques yet, okay, just pray at home for now. That's still the invitation between you and Allah, but. Again, the mosque is always open for you. Don't don't be like me. Don't let Muslim Muslims affect your relationship with the mosque. The mosque is a beautiful place for you to get away from the world, just to retreat. We all need a retreat sometimes. Don't you can get a bit mad sometimes. <laughs> uh, 
But um, but yeah, have that little breather for yourself. Take the time out. Do some dhikr there. Don't again when you finish the prayer. Don't just run, up, rush up and and leave. Stay there. Sit. You ain't got to talk to anyone. Stay there. Sit for ten, fifteen minutes. You'll see. You'll 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 see what I'm talking about. This it's kind of like the detachment from the dunya. Um, and it's a beautiful thing, man. And I I would hate for people to go through life not experiencing that, especially my fellow Muslim comrades. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end it there. Um, yeah. Make sure you donate to the people of Palestine. Make sure you go over to my Instagram and donate on that as well. And if you want to donate to the people of Bangladesh because they're going through a crisis right now, then follow Human Appeal on Instagram. It's just human appeal. Um, yeah. Spanla. Uh, make dua for me as well. Make dua for the success of this podcast for myself. And I make dua for you guys as well. My loyal subscribers and followers and listeners. I make dua for you all. Um, and slowly, slowly and surely throughout the years, we're going to grow this community. And hopefully we can do some great work. Um, Asalaamu Alaikum.